Chepo Reynoso. Buenas tardes. Good afternoon, everybody. Gracias a todos ustedes por su asistencia. Thank you all for coming. A lo largo de los años que, que tengo, que ya son muchos, I've been around me, this board me ha tocado ver time. muchos, muchos grandes campeones puertorriqueños. Desde la época de Carlos Ortiz, los que son viejos como yo seguramente se acuerdan de Carlos Ortiz. Tremendo, tremendo campeón. Y me tocó ver alguna vez pelear con Ultiminio Ramos, otro México cubano. Grandes, grandes, grandes campeones ha habido de gran respeto. ¿Quién no, ¿Quién no se acuerda de Wilfredo Gómez, de Wilfredo Benítez, de Tito Trinidad, del Macho Camacho? En fin, grandes campeones que merecen mi respeto. Todos ellos porque fueron unos verdaderos guerreros. Saúl, Saúl ha peleado con muchos puertorriqueños, con varios, todos de, de respeto, Miguel Coto, en fin, muchos, muchos. Y la historia dice que a todos les hemos ganado, a todos los puertorriqueños. Así que el sábado, el sábado, no creo que este muchacho sea la excepción. Gracias. From there, you know, after the after this victory with Mungia, we just started pushing the issue for the fight, and we, you know, we got it. All oh, glory to God. What's it like being here? Because Canelo has done this many times over again. This is a huge step up for you, main event in here in Las Vegas. For every prize fighter that puts on a pair of gloves, their dream is to be here in Las Vegas. As you drive up and down the strip and you see your name on the marquee, Canelo Berlangum, what does that mean to you? Um, it means everything to me, you know, it's been written already, you know, like I said, right, I'm not supposed to be here, you know, everybody that's in front of me is all against me, you know, and you got some b believers that's out there that's believing me, you know, but uh, because of my accolades and, you know, who I fought, you know, this guy fought legends, you get what I'm saying? So it's bound to happen, you know, it's people's opinion, you know, it's bound to happen that people's going to say I'm going to get knocked out, people's going to say, you know, I'm not going to go the whole 12 rounds, you know, because of my career and who I fought, but, um, you know, it was, it was God's plan, man, you know, for this to happen, you know, uh, seeing my name right now, man, it's a blessing, you know, uh, like I said, man, I want to thank, I want to thank PBC, Matchroom, I want to thank Eddie Hearns, my team, man, this is unbelievable right here. Canelo, your first time fighting during Mexican Independence Day fight weekend, you got to go back to September of 2012 when you fought Jose Cito Lopez here nearby at the MGM Grand Garden Arena. You have fought and headlined on Mexican Independence Day fight weekend at least five times. How much does that mean to you? Because you are a very proud Mexican. You're an icon to Mexican fight fans around the world. How much does it mean for you to be main eventing and to be competing and displaying your talents during Mexican Independence Day weekend? No, for me, it's an honor fighting in those days. Uh, uh, Mexican independence is very important for us, for Mexico, and I feel proud about representing my country. And I, I feel very special. And, and, and I feel, I feel an proud and, and it's an honor for me. You fought Miguel Cotto, the great Miguel Cotto, back in November of 2015. So you have been fully entrenched, as your team talked about, of being involved in this rivalry. When you take on someone from Puerto Rico, is there any extra added motivation, any extra added juice because of the rich boxing rivalry between the two countries? No, I always take my fights seriously, and I always train 100%, like, Uh, in every fight, no matter who is in there. So I always have the same mentality, and, and, and this is no deception. I come in with the same mentality. I, I did a really good training camp, and we are ready. Edgar, you have stated that you are predicting a sixth-round knockout over Canelo Alvarez. Canelo has never been knocked out in his career. Why are you so confident coming into this matchup that you are going to end him, not only uh, in the fight abruptly, but in the first half of the fight? You know, as boxers, right? You know, I'm a, I'm a knockout artist, right? So every fighter wants a knockout. You know, who don't want a knockout? Everybody wants to knock somebody out, right? But, um, you know, we know that he's a legend, and 
we know that we can't go in there and just trying to swing for the fence on him. You know what I'm saying? He got great IQ. He's intelligent. So we got to do it the right way. You know, um, six-round knockout, yeah, that's what, that's what we're going for. You know, and um, if it comes, it comes. But if we got to go to whole 12, then we're doing that as well. You know, so we ready for all... ...because of the fact that you can change your life if you're able to defeat the great Canelo Alvarez. Oh, a thousand percent, man. You know, um, just everybody out there that's, that's been down with me. You know, that's all motivation for us. You know, on social media, you know, the people out there that just, you know, talking bad about me and saying all this stuff. Man, this is about proving them wrong. You know, I've been in this position, you know what I'm saying? And I've been saying this over and over. You know, I've been at the bottom of the bottom, man. You know what I'm saying? We, in New York, you know, the concrete jungle, man, is, is not easy coming from, from, from New York, you know. So I've been in a position where I got to have, you know, a thousand to one. You get what I'm saying? And I'm cool with it, man. It's, it's more fuel for me. It's more fire in my blood and my veins, you know, to go, to go out there and, and perform and be great, man. You know, this, this is the, the, that's the whole point of boxing, right? You know, it's to go out there and, and, and make big fights happen at this magnitude. This is the top of the mountain. This is this this don't get any bigger. You get what I'm saying? So now it's just about me becoming great that night, you know, and, and putting my last name in the history books forever, you know, and putting Puerto Rico on the map and putting all the, the Latin community out there, you know, that's that's my goal, man. You know, this is all fuel for me. There's all fire in my blood in my vein, you know, through the Holy Spirit, man. You know, we're we going to shine Saturday night. All right, Edgar, we wish you all the best of luck. Edgar Berlanga. And I want to say something, too. Fuck Oscar De La Hoya, too. He's always a motherfucker. He keep talking. He keep talking and talking. He gonna, we're going to smack him when we see him. You got to stop. He got to stop. He, he's trying to fuck up the event. All right, Edgar Berlanga, ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for the unbeaten from Brooklyn, proudly representing Puerto Rico. Now, Canelo Alvarez, the floor is yours. What's final, one final message you want to give to the fans and also Edgar Berlanga, ahead of your Vega. showdown from T-Mobile Arena here in Las Vegas. No, espero que todos estén ahí apoyándome como siempre. Agradecido con cada uno de los mexicanos, eh, de, mis, de mis fans que siempre están apoyándome. Espero que disfruten de una gran pelea el sábado, de un gran triunfo y que todos gritemos ¡Viva México, cabrones! ¡Ánimo! ¡Gracias! ¡Viva Puerto Rico, puñeta! Oh, I hope that everyone comes out and supports me just like uh, they always do. I'm sending all my love to Mexico and I hope that by the end of this fight we can all yell out Viva Mexico Cabrones like we always do. All right, a round of applause to Canelo Alvarez and Edgar Berlanga, the final press conference Saturday night from T-Mobile Arena here in Las Vegas. PBC pay-per-view on Prime Video. Canelo defending his WBC, WBA, and WBO Super Middleweight Championships of the World against the unbeaten from Brooklyn, representing Puerto Rico, Edgar Berlanga. The undercard workouts come your way 6.30 Eastern, 3.30 local time on the PBC YouTube page. Now we will pose the fighters and their teams off. Canelo and Berlanga, Mexican Independence Day weekend continues here in Las Vegas. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen.